Elder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach. Today I'm super excited to show you how to do a multi-layer card. And you can call it telescoping, you can call it whatever you want, but there's just many, many layers to these and um, they're, they're raised so that you can see the different layers um, involved. Um, this is the card that I'm going to show you how to do, but I've done it with um, several different of our thin metal dies. This one was the star die, heart die, cloud die. You can do it with any one that you want. Um, and that's why I did so many of them, just to show you that you can do it with any one of the multi-level dies. So let's get started. I'm going to take and show you um, these two right here are just the same but different because I used the piercings. Remember with Fun Stamper's Journey they have piercings um, so that they, they coordinate the piercings with the cutouts which are absolutely adorable. I did the same thing on this one with the clouds. I used the piercing. I also used one of our wooden um, embellishments and a stamp set for the words that I absolutely love. Let me just show it to you right here. Um, it's one of my favorites. It used to be a bloom box and now it's available in the catalog. It's SS0250 and it will be in our new 2016 or yeah, 2015 2016 catalog. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this stamp set and these are just such cute adorable fonts with cute adorable little um, sayings to go along with them. So one of my favorites right at this particular time. Alrighty, so let's get started. We're going to need our um, Journey Platinum and that's to do our, our die cutting and I wanted to show you exactly how I did it. So let's bring in our cardstock right here. I did pre-stamp um, this. I used our clear pigment ink. Let me see if I can find it right here. Um, this is our clear pigment ink right here and I used some white embossing powder. Love, love, love the two of these together. All right, so I did our, um, our, our uh, saying on the thing. Now what I need to do is to start with the cutting. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the larger flower or the larger heart first, and I'm going to do that on the colored, and then the bottom piece right here is actually done with the smaller one. Do you see? And on the inside, I use some of my little pieces to go along with it. So let me bring in my Journey Platinum and my hearts. Okay, let me just grab the hearts that I have already cut out for you or sorted out for you. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is the big heart. So I'm going to grab my watermelon fusion. This is my favorite color this week. And I'm going to grab, you see I brought all these in right here. I'm going to grab this one right here, which is our largest heart. Okay, so I'm going to grab that, and that's the first piece that I'm going to do. Let me just show you. Here is the heart, and I'm doing the, the one on the watermelon fusion. All right, so just offset that just a little bit. I want to keep it to the right-hand side because I am going to put some, um, some ribbon on there, some of our beautiful satin ribbon. And let's just run this through the Journey Platinum. You'll notice that I run it forward and then backward. Um, that is mostly because um, I don't want you lifting the heavy uh, magnetic plate. It is eight and a half inches wide. Um, so I want you to just kind of um, go forward and backward so no one has to drop it. Um, and that's, that's our heart. That's on our big piece right here. So that's our big heart right here. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is to grab my card base just like this. Oh, I've got a spot on that one, so we're just going to take and eliminate that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this on here. I'm going to put some adhesive, just a little tiny bit, just to hold it on the top and the bottom while I'm running it through. And I'm going to center it like I was going to actually adhere it to my card permanently. So now I have this added to the top and the bottom. I'm going to take my next smaller cutter, which is, I believe, this one right here. And we're just going to lay it in the inside like that and run it through the Journey Platinum. Now this Journey Platinum is going to be part of our um, recruiting kits. There's going to be some very awesome specials coming up. So make sure if you've ever decided to join the Journey that you keep checking my blog for some of the details because it is going to be amazing. Um, it's a great time to join. Um, we're a fairly new company and um, the opportunities are unbelievable. So now I'm going to take this out and see how I just cut out that, that little bad piece right there. And I can still use it on that side. All right, Deb Felder never wastes anything. 
Okay, so there's that piece right there. Now, the thing that I want to do next is to um, just kind of embellish some of the hearts that we have. I'm going to cut out on a smaller heart right here. So I have that cutter right here. And I'm not going to waste this heart that I already cut out. I'm going to take that and I'm going to cut that. So I'm going to lay that onto my, um, my cutting plate right here. Alrighty, so... Let's just grab that. So there's that. That's going to be cut out. And while I'm doing that, I'm actually going to take the heart that I cut out and add the piercer to it just like this. All right. And when I cut this one out, I save time, I save paper, I save everything. All righty. So I'm going to cut out all of these. No waste. Let me just see here. Okay. So there's my piercer. And my cuts. All right. There we go. All right. So let's run these through. Grab my cutting plate and run those through. And then I do believe that I am done with the Journey Platinum. So I'm going to grab that and get it off of the table over here. Grab these two. And now let's bring in all of our pieces. Okay, so we have the original card. We have this that's temporarily um, adhered down to our card base. And then I have all of my pieces right here. So I need my um, bloom tool, and I'm just going to grab out the uh, piercers. Okay, so there's one heart. And then I have this one, okay, so because I said we waste nothing. And if you actually look on the inside of this card, I used it for the inside of the card. No waste, no waste, no waste. So I'm just going to set that aside. And then I have these two. So I can take off the cutting one. That's the one that cut it. And then what I'm going to do, just make sure all of my little chads are gone there. And then put my bloom tool in here and just take that out. So that's my second piece right there. So I believe we have all of our pieces cut out. And now it's ready. Uh, we're ready to put it together. That's how fast these cards are. Really awesome, very striking, um, and just so super cute. All right, so now let's start with the bow. I have my bow that is attached to the back of this piece right here. So I took a piece of our watermelon fusion ribbon, and I cut it at, um, at 24 inches. And I'm just going to wrap it around. Now, if you didn't want to um, use all of that ribbon, you could just take a bow and make a, make a bow out of the ribbon um, and just um, uh, tie it on or uh, glue it on. You didn't have to take and um, wrap it all the way around, but I just love to wrap. So I'm just taking my watermelon fusion ribbon and adding my bow. Good so far. Alrighty, super, super easy. Everyone can do this. Don't be afraid to try. Alrighty, you can call it a telescope card. You can call it a multi-level card. Um, just adorable. And I like to just go back and forth with the ribbon until um, it's just the way I like it. I probably won't do that right now just to, yes, I will because I'm such a perfectionist. Okay, so there is our ribbon and our bow. Now to um, angle this the way I want it to or to place it where I want to, I'm grabbing the back of it and I'm grabbing the front of it and I'm just um, pushing it at the same time so that you don't rip your paper and you don't ruin your bow. Alrighty, so let me take my Grand Pro shears and just trim this off like so. Okay, and then that part of it is all done. Now we're going to just start layering. So what I need to do is to add some of my journey squares and I like to use the um, small ones when I can because why waste anything? Alright, so I'm just going to add that to there and there. Alright, we want to put a, a, just a few around here so that it doesn't sink in and of course the corners and the sides. Alrighty, whoops. Perfect. Now you don't have to take all of these sticky things off if you don't want to, um, because they're just kind of holders that you want to. You want to just make sure that you keep the. Uh, you just want to make sure that you keep the the whole piece um, in a in a, in a, a raised position. So, alrighty. So we're just going to add that here. 
Cutie, cutie, cutie. Okay, and now we're just going to take and add these pieces to it. Now you can take and you can um, pop, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to add, I'm just going to use um, one large one because then I don't have to add a whole bunch of others. So I'm going to add that to this right here. And I'm going to take and, let's see, do I want to pop that? No, I think I'm just going to take and adhere that with my Easy Glide. All right. A little bit of an angle. Nah. There we go. Just like that. Alrighty. So far, so good. Now, I just need to add a little bit of bling on the outside of it. And I'm going to do that with our sparkle hearts right here. So I'm just going to grab these. I do like to add a little bit of extra adhesive to these. So I'm going to grab one of my, um, one of my journey dots here. And grab one of these. Now they do have adhesive on them, but because they're so big, I like to be extra, extra, uber careful and not lose any of my bling. I want to put one up here. Uh, let's see. I like to hang it over just like that. And then I'm going to take and put one down here. You will probably need extra postage for this one because um, it does have so much bling on it. But when you're saving so much money by making your own card, um, you can afford a few extra cents for the postage, I believe, because no person is too... Whoops. There we go. Okay, so there's our heart. So the front of the card is done, but what is a card without the inside? All right, so I'm going to open this card up. I'm going to open up this one, and voila. You see that they have the layers in there. Now, I just took my, um, I took my rectangles, uh, my rectangle dies, and I cut out the middle because I don't like to waste the paper. I'm going to add just a little bit of um, our Easy Glide to each corner and add that to my card. All right, that's all you have to do. Just a little bit goes a long, long way. Add that, and then we're going to add our inside right here. That is not straight. I'll fix it after, um, but I'm just going to add this right here. The Easy Glide is nice and easy to um, lift up, so I'm going to add this to the inside, and I will fix the crookedness of this little piece right here in just a moment. Actually, it's going to bug me until I do it. So I'm going to do it right now. I only have to lift up, lift up um, three of the corners. Okay, so there's that. Nice and straight. And then here is... Oops. There. Okay, so there's our inside. Now, do you remember this heart that we used um, on the outside for all of these pieces right here? Well, I'm just going to add that to the inside right here. So, our card is done. Ta-da! Isn't that absolutely gorgeous and super uber simple? Please do not um, um, hesitate to use um, the cascading... Um, uh, dies that we have. They're just absolutely gorgeous. You know how to get a hold of me. If you have any questions, hop on over to my blog for more inspiration. You take care and please come back soon. Re remember our 2016-2017 um, new catalog is coming out very shortly. I'm going to be doing a review on it. I have some super exciting things to show you. Um, if you have any questions, remember, hop on over to my blog. Take care and have a great day.